Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live. I'm here at Prima with Addie and Hi. I'm Frank Garcia. We are going to be showing you some amazing projects using Saint Tropez today. So, a lot of people have asked me to show and share some of my projects using Saint Tropez. And Saint Tropez is a collection that I released a couple of months ago. Um, it was our mid release here at Prima. And it's a sea theme, nautical theme collection. It's very beautiful, features a lot of pretty uh, motifs, a lot of nautical things. Um, so I'm, I'm going to kind of go through some stuff, kind of show you the papers. And then we're also going to be doing a really cute um, shaker tag with our confetti dies, which is something I wanted to show you too, because I think that's something that um, a lot of people haven't, um, you know, got any ideas on how to use. So I'm going to show you um, a couple of things here, and then we'll get to it. So uh, first I wanted to show you my book. So I did this book. This is a book that I'm teaching, and all of these uh, projects are uh, classes that I teach currently with my collection. Um, you know, I might be coming to your store soon, um, to your nearby store. But this is um, using my Saint Tropez collection. So this is using my Square album. Now you can see I used a lot of my new products, like my frame, I used my um, crowns, but I also mixed in a couple of other products from Memory Hardware. And when you use Memory Hardware, you know that you can use everything in conjunction with the product. So everything will look uh, cohesive and it doesn't matter if it came out a year or two ago I love that memory hardware you can always work um, with older products and add them onto new products <laughs> yes and the, and, and the vials are part of my line you can see I added the crown to the top and I added a little bit of artisan powder to give it a little bit of an antique look I also used my chain that came out a, you know, I think a year ago but I added my new Parisian stones and then these are the trinkets that actually come in Saint Tropez. Um, these are really cute. They are kind of like sea wash patina. You can see right here. And by the way, guys, um, uh, Daisy's going to be uh, modding and as well as Carrie. So if you guys have any questions, just make sure you just put them in the chat. If you want to see anything up close or anything like that, we'll be sure to um, answer your questions. Now, of course, Saint Tropez has beautiful flowers. Um, I love the flowers from this collection because they're kind of like fabric, um, almost like velvety-like. You guys remember pretty much those beautiful flowers. So these here, right here, you can see if they can get a close-up of this flower. This is one of my favorite flowers. It has like a beautiful netting. I just love the way that looks. And um, this one's also part of that pack. And all of these flowers here are part of Saint Tropez. And, um, you know, I just kind of love the way that looks. Um, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tour here inside the book. So lots of pockets. I love adding little pockets, little details. Um, these are my knobs. You can see my knobs here. It's really cute. And uh, remember the paper has foil, so I love the way that foil looks. I don't know if you can catch that, Daisy, but it's a really cute uh, foil detail. And I add my journaling cards in there as well. You are my anchor. I love that. And I have some photo mats. You can um, add some photo mats on there. Love these crystals. Just so pretty. And I love how all the papers work together. So you can see all of the papers just look so pretty when they're layered. Um, even though some of them are a bit more muted, you can see that they're very nicely layered and they look really pretty when they're um, on top of each other. So that's really cute. And I always use all my leftovers, like for example this here. You're the only fish in the sea for me. How cute is that? And this is perfect for, I heard some people tell me the other day, well, Frank, I don't live near the beach. And I'm like, well, you can always do a river, you know, album or something about the lake or, you know, we're always near bodies of water somewhere. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be sea themed. You can also use it for your travels. If you go anywhere on a road trip, it's a really fun collection for that. Love this little waterfall here that I made. You know, you can see all the little cards. Just love how that looks. And then I did another little mat here. Of course, more pockets. And then finally, um, another matting for, for photos there. And I love the chipboard. The chipboard has both foil accents as well as glitter accents. So you can see how pretty that looks. Okay, so that's my book here with Saint Tropez. I love this book. Now I wanted to show you um, another way to use my collection. So you can definitely make books, you can make layouts. Um, I love making tags. Tags are one of my favorite things to do. So um, these tags are using Prima's chipboard tags, but I use uh, my Saint Tropez collection with this um, as well. So you can see um, I use the shells, I use some of our new Sparks paint. I kind of just splattered it all over. And added some of the um, little uh, ephemera pieces onto the tags. This one right here is one of my favorites because it has this really cute little vial with the pearls and the little shell. And I just love that glitter. Who does not love glitter, right? And of course, if you love collecting planner items, I use my planner reinforcers right here. And you can see how you can use them not only on your planners, but you can also use them on your paper crafting. So I kind of added them here as a little accent. So that's really cute. 
right here you can see this one here has a little anchor at the top and I love layers so I always you know you can see how many how many layers there is here and these here are liquid pearls um yes I do add those by hand I know everybody <laughs> thinks that I have a little row of pearls somewhere but I don't they're added by hand so um cute. this one here I love salty kisses and starfish wishes and these are all um, pieces from the ephemera and the flowers let me tell you about the flowers they're just so cute you can see how pretty they are and I love the sparkle from the paint just splattered a little bit of paint just adds a little bit of a detail here you can see another one I love this I one because it has it. the shell with the pearls in there and the pearls are actually from my memory hardware line and I use one of my new crowns kind of like a lost treasure tag just really pretty okay and then finally we have this one which is so cute too I love that heart so again lots of different ways to use um, St. Tropez it's just a very versatile line that you can use for anything and these are great to um, hang on wine bottles or if you wanted to give it as a gift yes, you can even cute. write in the back um, oh write a little gosh. message that's why I always leave them blank because I, you know, I never know who I'm gonna give them to but I usually don't give these away <laughs> I usually keep Stop them for myself. It off, Frank. <laughs> I, know, I know. No, share it. Now the last thing I want to show you is um, this tag here. Oh now this God. is um, ooh, 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 ooh. sorry, we dropped that. Um, this <laughs> is a, a large tag, and this is um, actually a mixed media project I did with Saint Tropez. So you can see here that I added um, a lot of mixed media elements. I have the black sand, which is a really fun uh, medium that Prima has, and I mix it with a couple of enamels, some of my artisan powders to give it this really unique. Uh, metallic feel so you can actually see how that sparkles I also added a little bit of the sparks paint and you can see how I altered the flowers now a lot of people always um, want to use the flowers just the way they are which is perfect but I always like to um, alter my flowers and the way I did that is I added a little bit of soft gloss gel all over and I added some glitter I added some enamel I added some paint and it kind of gave them a different look kind of like a sea wash sparkly look almost looks like mermaid I love I it. love the way that looks that. and this tag actually lights up with our Lumi so let me just show oh you that gosh. isn't that pretty so cute so it actually lights up so this is a really nice display piece for your home. You could put it in your coffee table, wherever you want. Um, and there's a lot of layers here, some artisan powder in here as well. And of course, the St. Tropez collection, which kind of brings it all together. So again, another way that. to use St. Tropez. All right, so I kind of want to go through the papers here real quick, because I know some of you guys might, might have missed the papers. Um, I just have a 12 by 12 pad here that I want to show you. And um, so the 12 by 12 pad comes like this. Now the 12 by 12 pads and all of the other pads do not have the foil. Only the 12 by 12 sheets have the foil. But um, these are really great because you can mix and match them with the foil sheets. That's what I always say. Um, because sometimes, you know, the foil's nice, but it's sometimes nice to have it without the foil because that way you can use them however you like. So this one here um, is the cutout sheet. So I love this sheet because it has so many elements you can cut out. Then the back, of course, has this beautiful wood grain. I love, 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 love that one. Um, this one's great for backgrounds or creating your own, uh, you know, different uh, mixed media piece. Great for adding gesso and paint. Okay. Now the next one. Let me just kind of show you here. You get a lot of sheets. Well, how cute would this look in a traveler's notebook? Yes. And you can use it in a traveler's cover? notebook. Yes. You can use it anywhere. Now this one right here is the map paper. Okay. This map paper, um, it's beautiful. I love this how this looks. The one in the foil actually has like the veins, the streets kind of marked in foil. So that's really fun. Um, and then the back of this is like a vintage floral. I Can love you see that? that? Color. Love this. It's very faint. It's very reminiscent of the streets of Saint Tropez. They have a lot of hanging gardens and just really pretty. Okay. This one right here, lots of cutouts. Again, I love cutouts because I love making tags. I love making mini albums. So I love bits and pieces in my album. So these are great for putting into tags, cards, anything you want. Okay, lots of pretty things. I love you to the beach bag. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> and then um, the back of this has a simple stripe. And of course, you always want to have simple patterns for your collections because you want to layer. This is a great layering paper. Okay. Now the next paper here is the strip paper. Now people always ask me, Frank, how do I use this paper? So if you remember in my book, I actually cut them out in chunks so I can make pockets. Let me kind of show you here real quick. So if you look right here, see how I kind of cut this out in a chunk? So I picked three strips and I cut it out and made it a pocket. You can see the same thing over here. See that? How that's a pocket. 
Yeah. And actually, this here is the foil one. So the foil has actually words and have foil. But um, you can use this one the same way. It doesn't have to necessarily have the foil. So it has a lot of sayings, lots of beautiful images from the collection. And in the back of it, it's sort of like a wave paper, which I love because it's very subtle. You can use it and layer so much on this. Love, love, love this. Now, this one here is actually a fave. This one has a lot of elements from the collection. It has the sandals, the butterfly, the anchor. Love this because you can layer. And in the back, I love because it's very grungy. So this one here, if you wanted to do something a little bit more dark, more grungy, lots of um, mediums on there, this one's great for that because you can just layer. And there's many, many little anchors on there, so I don't know if you could see those. But they're really nice. They have the little mini anchors. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you, go. there you go. Now, last but not least, is the floral pattern. I think Addie loves this I one because do. she I wants to make floral. a traveler's notebook out of this. Yes. Um, but this is a really cute pattern. You can use it for cards or tags again. Really, really versatile for anything or in your planner even. Yes, dashboard. And in the back, some more cutouts because, you know, we can't live without the cutouts. And these are really cute too. Lots of pretty little sayings in there. I need vitamin C. I, I know. I need to go. I know. <laughs> Pronto. <laughs> So this is St. Tropez. I hope you guys um, can check it out because this is a really great collection. Yeah, I, I know a lot of stores so still have some of this left, um, but make sure you grab it before it's gone because when it's gone, it's gone. You know, it has so much versatility. Yes, I now on to our little project here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, I'm gonna get close up to the um, map so you guys can take a look at what we're gonna do. So um, I'm gonna talk about these um, confetti dies here for a second. So the confetti dies look like this. Now they come in different um, styles. So um, there's circles, there's hearts. Um, there's actually um, another one in here, I think. Here's the heart. Um, there's actually six total, but I only have three here that I wanted to show you. But they come like this, they're um, steel dies, okay? Um, and they all um, have different shapes. And there's actually one that has a geometric shape, which is actually nice too. Um, and you can see right here, it comes with a little pocket. So, which I love. You can kind of store them like that. Um, and I guess like, what? You can put it in your planner. Do you see yeah, those you can put it in already? your planner, yeah. It has little bunches. Yeah. So, it's a really neat uh, packaging. Um, I love packaging that you can reuse. Um, and you can see the confetti dice have, um, from big to small, you can get a lot done with one pass. So, you don't have to pass this over and over and over to get a lot of pieces. So, with one pass, you could just kind of get it done quickly. So, I have the circle. I have the star. I have the heart one. There's three more, okay? So you can pick and choose whatever you like. But today I wanna use the stars and the hearts because I'm all about the hearts. So I'm gonna um, take this one out. And I'm gonna go ahead and die cut a couple of shapes here. And um, these are great for parties. If you have like a party coming up and you wanna have some custom confetti, if you wanna punch out anything that you know, for example, like glitter paper, or if you wanted to punch out any sort of material that you want to kind of spread out on the table, or if you want to put it in a balloon or in a shaker card, whatever, it's a really great way to um, use this and use it in a party, okay? Or if you wanted to just use it for crafting, it's also very versatile too. And like I said, one swipe, you get a lot of pieces. So I'm actually going to be using some glitter paper, okay? So let me kind of show you here real quick. So I have two pieces of glitter paper here. Um, I like using glitter paper that's not uh, the one that falls off because it gets really messy. I mean, I love glitter, but trust me, I don't want it all over me. Not <laughs> so, to wear it. <laughs> not, not to wear it. You want it on, on, on our crafts, not to wear it. So I'm gonna take a little piece here and I'm gonna take my uh, vagabond. I'm gonna pass this over right here and I think Daisy might have to zoom out just a tad. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my star one. Now, um, I only want the bigger pieces because I'm gonna make a little bit of a shaker. So I don't want like the little tiny pieces to get lost in there. So I'm only gonna cut out a little tiny piece like this, okay? Now I'm probably gonna use the champagne -y color for this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this onto my machine. And I'm only going to kind of measure it out to where the kind of bigger uh, stars are at. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my little sandwich together. Now, because this is a thicker material, I'm gonna pass it a couple of times. If you don't actually use a thicker material, you don't have to do this part. You don't have to pass it so many times because it usually cuts out pretty fairly quickly. So I'm gonna give it one pass and then two passes. And I'm just gonna give it one more just to be safe. You just never know. 
Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna take this sandwich out. And I'm just gonna pull this out very carefully, okay? Now, like, like I said, because this is a thicker material, it, it, um, you need to give it a couple of passes, but you can see how clean that cuts. Now I'm gonna take a little tray, okay? And because we don't wanna get this everywhere, and I'm just gonna go ahead and press these out. And you can see how easy those press out. And of course, if you have a little brush or something that you use, I know they have little brushes out there for die cuts. Um, it makes it super easy, but you can see how these just pop out. Confetti everywhere. I know, confetti <laughs> everywhere. Confetti party. <laughs> um, but let me just kind of finish popping these out. Okay, and you can see how easy these pop out. Now, um, I have all my little stars here. Now, of course, if you wanted to use double-sided glitter paper, you can. Um, but because I'm only uh, putting them in a shaker and I'm not going to be flipping over, um, I don't really care. I just wanted to use this type of paper. And you can do those in a I'm going to do the other one. So she's going to go ahead and take care of those. I'm going to do the heart real quick. Now the heart, I'm using this kind of aqua color. It's really pretty. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this. Now you can definitely use a precision uh, plate on here if you wanted to do that or a, a thin uh, precision plate. I know that probably makes it easier to pop out, but I like the part of popping them out. I think it's uh, fun. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. The other way and I'm going to just make sure I line it up correctly. I'm going to go ahead and make my little sandwich here, and I'm going to go ahead and pass it. We have so many people that are international right now. Hi, Hello. Guys. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to get one more pass. We got Canada, Portugal, Greece. Perfect. All right, I'll move this out of the way here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this again very carefully. And again, this is very thick glitter paper, but I know there's glitter paper that's probably thinner out there. So if you have some that's thinner, by all means use it. I just like this paper because it doesn't fall off. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and poke those out. And you can see how easy that just pokes out because they're just there. I think just I, I just like this part because it reminds me <laughs> of so popping. It, it reminds me of popping bubble. That bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. Yes, yeah, I, don't know I why. love that. It's it just so fun. Reminds me of doing that. Okay, so now that we have this, hey, you, um, you can see the stars, the stars a little better, and you can see how it cuts it perfectly. So again, you can cut foil sheets. You can cut all kinds of stuff to make cute little uh, confetti, which is really fun. So cute. So cute. I know. Imagine putting this in your planner. A little shaker pocket. Okay. So while Addie does this, <laughs> she loves <laughs> all the hard work. I know. She's doing all the hard work. I'm going to show you what we're going to do here, the steps that we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take my um, little sleeves. Now I'm using these little sleeves. These are just photo sleeves that you can just get anywhere. Um, they're not any particular type, and they look like this. They're four by six, um, and you can go ahead and fill it up with whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you here what I did. So I have two different sizes, but I can cut it down or I can, you know, leave it the size it is. It doesn't really matter. I wanna play with it. Okay. So we can show them. <laughs> look at all the bits and pieces in there. Look at this stuff. I know, it's really cute. And you can see the little hearts in there and the stars. And this is really cute because you can put it into your planner. Yes. Okay. Anywhere. So let me go ahead and show them how to make one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And it does have a little tab right here, but you can get the ones without the tabs. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go ahead and actually be using my ephemera. I'm going to be using also some of my remnant fragments. Now, remnant fragments were part of memory hardware. Okay. And they um, have sequins in them. So I'm going to show you here real quick what they look like. So they look like this. These came out, um, I think, about half a year ago. And I love these because I use these in my shaker domes. Um, but you can see these have sequins in them. So you can, um, the rose gold's really pretty. But you can see how pretty these are. And they come with three packs, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first grab my confetti because it's kind of ready to go. 
And I'm gonna make sure that what, when I put them in, that they're all facing up because you don't want them to turn up over when you're putting them in. So I'm gonna just grab a couple, different sizes. And of course, there's probably easier ways to do this, but I just do it this way, because. So I'm gonna grab them all together and I'm gonna make sure that they're all going in the same direction like this. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of hearts. And Eddie, maybe you wanna do one with me while we're doing this. I'll take a couple of the hearts. Figure it out. I mean, it probably helps when you're when we have them all turned over, which is nice. Thanks, Daddy, for doing that. You're welcome. So I'm putting them all in there, and you can see how cute they look already. I don't know what it is about sparkly stuff, guys. We all just love sparkles. It makes us happy. It's Addie's. Here I am. I'm working on it. I need some stars. <laughs> Share the stars, Frank. Here you go. Are you done with the heart? Yeah. I'm gonna just turn these last couple of ones over. Oh, Kathy's asking, are you wearing Alex and Annie? I what am, I am wearing Alex and Annie. I have a little bit of a collection going here. Can you just order more? I <laughs> did, I'm so <laughs> obsessed. Okay. So we have um, our, a little bit of the confetti that we die cut. You're doing okay. Now we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my ephemera. Now this is the ephemera from Saint Tropez. So this one here comes with acetate and it also comes with um, the actual pieces. Um, I love this because this one has so much versatility. Now a lot of people ask me, well, Frank, what do I do with the acetate pieces? Well, this is one way to use them. I'm actually gonna take out this cute little watermelon. And these are clear, but when you put them onto something, you see it, see that? So it's clear, but then you see it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here because I want a very summery shaker pocket. And then I'm gonna take out my ephemera. I guess I'm gonna do a more simpler one than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take a tray out because it just makes it easier. Now these in here actually have um, a lot of pieces that you can use. Oh my god, look at this. And they have foil. So I'm gonna stick this in here. And oh my god, you can t definitely put a gift card in here. Hello, Blake. How cute would that be? Like, I know. I so what I'm gonna do there. is I'm gonna take this shell. I'm gonna use the shell, but I'm gonna just roughly cut it out because I don't want the white to show. I just want it to be the shape. So I'm gonna use these little scissors and just, just I just have to be perfect. I'm just gonna roughly cut this out. Ooh, look at the relax. And you guys know I'm not great at fuzzy cutting, so. Can we I'm talk just, about uh, a little martini and relaxing time? Oh, How oh cute God. is that, guys? I'm gonna put that okay, one. Okay, we have the shell. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in there. Then what else do I want? I'm gonna take all the cute ones so Addie doesn't Frank, have any. What were you ones. thinking? Look at this. Every day with you. How cute is that, guys? The colors. It pops so much with the white. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at the colors. I'm gonna take these little sandals because they remind me of Birkenstocks. Oh my gosh, those are like my those sandals. My I love those. Can I have those in mine? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make it separate. Oh my, my god, how cute would it be if it's separate? Oh yes. Here. So cute. Look at it, it says relax in here. And you can do this with any of your ephemera, guys. If you guys have ephemera sitting at home, maybe that you had leftover pieces of. Look at the floral. I love. Okay, so we're gonna put that to Eddie. Now, let me see what else we got in here. Now, of course, we have little hearts already pre-cut in the ephemera, so it would be cute to add some foil hearts. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a couple of these little hearts and add. There's little tags. How cute is this tag? This I love tag this. Look at the hearts with the foil in there. Can you see the foil? So cute. Yeah, you can see it. This one you can too. add as much as you like. That one's really cute too. This one's cute for you. There's so many pieces in here. I just love the way that 
this. You can use it. Oh my gosh. Look so at far this I have. <laughs> oh my god, the bone is cute. And you get more hearts in here too. Okay, so now I have a couple of the ephemera pieces in there. Um, of course, I don't want them to get lost, so I don't want to put a ton. But I am going to take this ice cream because it's, uh, <laughs> it's everything. I have an ice cream, too. Let's find another one. Pineapple. Look at the umbrella. Oh, my gosh. That's so glasses are my favorite. How cute, so cute are those? Oh, my gosh. And those little polka dots on that. Look at that. Oh, my cute. I know. Here, cut it out. And then I'll put the ice cream in mine. All right, so let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to put the ice cream cone in mine because I love it. How cute is that? Okay, now I'm going to take some of my um, remnant fragment sequins. Okay, I want some rose gold in here because I think it's cute. Give me all the sequins. Don't drop it. You don't want to have to take it. And then I have this gold one, which is really cute. I'm gonna open this up. It's like a shiny gold, which I love. Oops. I'm, I'm, assuming, oh. I'm assuming you want some of this, right, honey? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna just pass that over to you. Now I have, um, right here you can see I have the sequins, I have the ephemera, I have the little confetti in there. Now, of course, you don't have to do this step, but I am going to because I'm all about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some um, glitter in there, but I'm going to put a little bit because I think in the other ones I put a little bit too much the first time. So, I have just some chunky glitter here. I love how you can peek the pink in there. The yeah, pink and the blue. Really oh my gosh. Love it. Just that much. And I'm going to put a little pink. So here you added the... The little mint, and I'm going to add a little bit more. So, I didn't want to add too much because um, it, it gets crazy. Oh, but, like, I might have added too much. <laughs> <laughs> it just went flying in there. Give me all of it. Okay. All the glitter. Okay, so now I think it's pretty good. It kind of shows up really nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fuse tool to kind of get this fuse together. So I'm going to try to find my ruler here. Now the best way to do this is to line it up to your mat. So I'm using a glass mat, guys, and this is actually um, important because um, you want to make sure that you have something that's not going to burn, okay, through your mat because you're using a hot tool. And you make sure it's straight, so I like that this has a cutout. So I'm going to take my fuse tool here and I'm going to hold this in place. And I'm just going to go ahead and fuse it together. Now that's fused, and I have this excess, but that's okay because I'm going to cut it out. Um, I'm going to take um, Addie's, if yours ready. Yeah, look at oh my god, pink. the pink! I know, it's so cute. <laughs> I might take this. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. I'm going to center it the best I can. If it's a little crooked, don't hate me. Oh, Darlene <laughs> is asking if these are bookmarks. That you can use them as bookmarks, you can use them in your planner, you can use them wherever you like. I'm actually going to make it into a tag shape in a bit. Okay, so you can see how to use them as a tag. You can hang them off anything you want. But the tags work perfectly as bookmarks too. Yeah, you can hang them off whatever you want. So here is um, the fused uh, piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my trimmer. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, just trim off the excess, okay? And you wanna just trim it as close to that fusing as possible so that you're not um, opening up the bag again. So I'm just gonna trim this up, okay? You can see that that trims off the little plastic piece. Now, because I'm a perfectionist and I like things to be perfect, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna just make sure this is straight because I'm a little crazy like that. There's no such thing. Don't open it then. I'm not. Don't, don't. 
Okay. Oh my God! Yay! How cute! How cute! Okay, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay, don't get yes, too excited. Yes, you need to do mine. That's okay. right. We're, okay. that's right. we're not done yet. <laughs> okay, so let me just cut Addie's out. Trim that out. And I'm just going to trim this out. Oh my god, the pink. Let's talk about that pink. Eddie, I might just have to keep this. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this over now that it's trimmed. And I'm gonna make this into a tag. Now, at this point, you can definitely punch out the holes to put it into your planner. You can put it wherever you like, okay? But I wanna make this into a tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my corner chomper. I'm gonna take this one here that kinda makes tag shapes. I'm gonna use the large angle. And I'm gonna go ahead and punch out. I think I'm having too much fun with this. I, I see that. <laughs> I'm gonna punch out the corner. <laughs> Now, when you punch out the corners, it makes it into a tag. Do you guys see that? Let me kind of put this on the background here so you guys can see a little better. So, see how it kind of makes it into a tag shape? Mm -hmm. Which it's I like love. A little yes. It's a little tapering, yes. Now, because that opens the bag again, we have to seal it once more. Okay. So, we're going to take our fuse tool once more, and we're just going to straighten it as best as possible. And we're gonna just fuse that again over. <laughs> and you can definitely just cut the corners and fuse it, but I just like the corner chomper because it makes it a little easier for me. How's everybody doing so far? Is there any, any questions? If I'm going too fast, let me know. Hi guys. There's a lot of people saying hi. Now, now that I have this, I'm going to cut off this excess. It looks like I have a pink background. Is that so all the glitter? Oh my god, you put a lot of glitter and I love it. I know, it worked. It's like mermaid. Are you going to leave yours like that? I think I want to. Okay. So, I have now a tag. Cute. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now, um, once I finish with this, I'm going to go ahead and make sure all my glitter is down at the bottom. I'm going to take my hole puncher. And I'm going to use the bigger hole to punch a hole up at the top. I'm going to center it as best as possible. And then I'm going to punch out this hole. Now this hole is going to be where my little yarn thing is going to go. I have this little tinsel trim that I got. I'm just going to make a little loop and then cut a little piece out. And I'm just going to go ahead and thread it through there. Aw, oh, thank you, Maria. You're so sweet. Okay, how is how cute is this? Yes. Can we talk about mine? <laughs> it's so cute. Look at all the pieces. Now I feel like I didn't put enough glitter. Exactly. Oh my god. You see, you feel left out. Let's I know. trade. But that's okay. Really it's okay. Cute, Yours has like more little stuff in it. Mine has Saint Tropez stuff in it. Mm -hmm. My sandals are lost. That's how I feel at home. <laughs> so again, guys, this is a really fun project. You can make this really easily. How cute would these be for invitations? Or you can make them as little thank you cards. Like you stamp a gift card inside. I want to do that now. Oh. You can put a $100 okay. bill in there. What? I mean, whatever you want. Oh. Whatever. For my birthday I mean, break. That would be a really cute gift idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, really like, cute. how so, boring is it when people give you just money? Like, imagine yeah. this. And people see, would be so There's surprised. so many. I mean, look at this. How this works. This kind of this one. Like, imagine Christmas. You know? Oh, my God. Christmas. Stop. Don't say anything. We might have but to do something for Christmas. But the pink and the blue. I know. Oh, I so, love it. Again, this is a really fun idea. Um, I hope you guys try it out. Um, and other than that, do you guys have any questions? Let us know. Again, these confetti dies, oh my god, you guys need them because you can make so many shapes and they just they're just so versatile. You can use so many colors, so many I colors, mean, so many you can different use, paper yes, patterns. Yes, yes. And you can mix it with all the collections you have, all the ephemera that you have left over. Yes. Is there any questions they see in the chat? 
Mm -hmm. Everybody's yeah. good? All right, Everyone's is everybody good. glad or not already? Yeah. All right, so if there's any questions, we're gonna head out. But remember, you can even put these in your planner, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put mine in my planner. Are your travel stuff with? I don't know which one yet. Okay. I have to decide, maybe in my Frank Garcia planner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, if there's no more questions, have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will catch you guys next time. We'll make sure to um, list the products that we yes. use in the um, description. And thank you, everybody, for coming. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.